and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bike classes so you have the class 1 class 2 class 3 class 4 and my thinking is with all the changes that are either proposed coming or maybe in the not too distant future coming why not scrap e-bike class levels in favor of speed limit and I think it would be a lot less confusing for everyone and make it across the board I mean across the whole US for example instead of having some states with class 2 some with class 3 just make it a speed limit and I don't know what the speed limit would be take your pick let's say for example let's use 30 miles per hour as the maximum speed then make it across the board don't worry about the size of your motor or, or anything else on your bike whether you're pedaling or not don't worry about any of that and just make it the speed limit and then for example here you see a speed limit of 25 miles per hour okay so then in that case you got to stay to 25 miles per hour abide by the speed limit uh, if it's uh, less than the maximum you can go and just do it that way and it doesn't matter if you have a thousand watt motor 750 watt motor or whatever um, as long as you don't exceed that speed limit whatever the speed limit is set to and I was using 30 as an example but I think 30 would be a pretty good one I'd actually like to see it go to uh, 35 would be better, but um, but that would make it so much more easy to understand and less complicated. And and the uh, situation where you have well, you can go 20 with the throttle, but not 28 unless you're pedaling, makes absolutely no sense to me at all. That that makes no sense. That the 28 miles per hour, you cannot pedal to go 28. Or you can uh, not throttle, I should say, to go 28. It's so silly to me. But anyway, um, that's my thinking, is that we would all be less confused. And if we set it at a certain speed limit across the board. And then if you get into situations where you're on a path or, or trail, and there's pedestrians around let the uh, you know those should in my opinion should never exceed 15 miles per hour um, and that's at the most and that's when there's nobody around when there's people on the trail it's hard to get uh, going very fast unless you're, you're gonna mow down people which uh, we don't definitely want to see happen and you got to uh, take it easy and and share the bike path with everyone else. So I think probably 10 to 15 on the bike path. And but I think you should be allowed to ride on the bike path. And then um, you could do uh, uh, up to 30 on the road provided that the speed limit on the road is that much or greater but I'm just using 30 as an example that's that would be pretty good I think 35 would be the best and then if you choose to ride less speed you don't have to drive uh, ride 35 then you just ride whatever speed is comfortable that you like to ride and that pleases everybody I'm also in agreement with the uh, 
16 or over um, to ride an e-bike. I mean, I know if I were a kid, I would really love the e-bike, but growing up, we never had that. We had the traditional bike that you pedal. But I think 16, you're a little more responsible at that age than you would be, say, when you're 12. Or you should be, anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What would, what do you, what would you do? Would you keep the uh, class uh, levels the way they are? Would you like to see changes? And let me know either way. Hey, if you want to see changes, what would you like to see changed? And how? Or do you like my idea of just scrapping the, the class levels and just going for a straight speed limit? Let me know in the comments below though what you think. There's a little bit of light rain is coming down. We're going to get a mixed bag again today of just about everything. They're saying even thunder and lightning we could get. We could get hail, snow, rain, wind. That's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for doing that. Mm -hmm. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And once again, if you want to leave a comment on the video or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video and hey until next time keep your wheels on the road